Lasun is leader in lighting and electrical test instruments. Hello everyone, this is Daisy. Let me introduce to you the installation and use of the ZY3 needle flame test. The following is the video catalog. 1. Packing list. 2. Installation and operation. 3. Equipment maintenance. Please check the packing list when you receive the shipment. The needle flame test chamber and all other accessories are packed in the same wooden box. Please take out all the chamber and accessories. This is the front and back of the needle flame tester. Other accessories include, exhaust pipe, power cord, remote control, igniter, gas supply device, butane gas, hose, spare fuse, gauge, silk paper, residue collector, thermocouple. There is also a plastic bag in the package that contains a CD, calibrate certificates, and guarantee cards. There are user manual, operation video, and related standards in the CD. Open the front door of the chamber. To avoid damage to the instrument, we use cable ties to fix the internal accessories before transportation. Please remove the cable ties. The exhaust pipe needs to be installed on the back of the chamber and connect to the outdoors to exhaust the smoke generated during the test. Use the hose to connect the chamber with the gas supply device. Install butane canned gas. The notch position is upward. Install it into the gas supply device as shown in the figure. Press this button to lock the canned gas. Then turn the knob to the maximum position. Connect the power cord to 220 volts 50 Hz power supply. Turn on the switch. Press the start button to turn on the chamber. Touch the screen to enter working interface. The four buttons A, B, C, D here can also be controlled by the remote. This is the switch for the lighting in the chamber. This is the switch for the exhaust fan. Enter the parameter set interface. Set burning time and after flame time according to the standard. Time ratio does not need to be modified. The two temperatures on the right side of the screen are set to 100 degrees Celsius and 700 degrees Celsius. It is used to measure the temperature rise time of the thermocouple copper block. According to the standard, the temperature rise time from 100 degrees Celsius to 700 degrees Celsius is 23.5 seconds. Temperature correction doesn't need to be modified. Before the testing, we need to confirm that the temperature rise time of the copper block meets the standard. Connect the thermocouple here. And then you can see the real-time temperature value of the copper block on the touch screen. When the temperature is lower than 100 degrees Celsius, the temperature rise time should be zero. If not, just click the reset button to reset all the parameters. First, adjust the needle flame copper tube to the vertical direction. Click Gas Connect. You will hear the sound of the solenoid valve opening. The gas is connected to the chamber. Use the igniter to light the flame. Adjust the airflow knob here and use the gauge to ensure the flame size meets the standard requirements. After the flame is adjusted, click Gas Connect to stop the gas. There is no need to adjust the gas flow knob again in a short time. After using it for a long time, the airflow knob can be fine-tuned again to ensure the flame still meets the standard. Use the other end of the gauge to confirm the position of the thermocouple copper block. Click Gas Connect and ignite the gas. The copper begin to warm up. The timer starts when the temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius. The timer stops when the temperature reaches 700 degrees Celsius. The temperature rise time should be between 23.5 seconds and 25.5 seconds according to the standard. Click reset to reset all the parameters. Unplug the thermocouple and save it when the copper cools down. 
adjust the direction of the copper tube to the angle required. Click start without flame. The needle goes to the right and stops. Install the sample according to the position of the needle. Place the silk paper and the residue collector below the burning point. Click reset to reset the needle position and the timers. Click gas connect to connect the gas and ignite the gas. Close the door of chamber. Click start to start the test. After the set burning time is over, the gas will be automatically disconnected and the needle will automatically return to the initial position. Click after flame pause when the flame on the sample goes out. If the sample does not catch fire, you do not need to click this button. After the test is over, click reset to reset the timers. Click fan to exhaust the smoke generated during the test. Then you can open the chamber to check the status of the sample. The needle flame test chamber is easily soiled by the smoke and combustion residues produced by combustion. It is necessary to clean it regularly. Especially clean the needles. Don't leave burning residue on the needle. Normally, the butane gas and gas supply device are packaged together with the needle flame test chamber. But sometimes combustible gas cannot be delivered. In this case, you need to purchase butane gas locally. Then the gas supply device from us will not be necessary. Please just connect the gas to the chamber directly or with any other gas supply device. Thanks for watching.